So many nail art tools, but today we don't need them. I'll show you how to create these 5 beautiful designs using only a nail polish brush. Last time we ditched the bus, now it's time to ditch the tram. Let's go! wasn't real, it was just a fun filming effect and you have to promise me that you're never gonna try something like that yourself. Promise? Okay, so today's video is a nail art one, but not just any, it's a nail tutorial in which I won't be using any nail art tools. <laughs> this was definitely one of my most requested videos and because I love you so much, I made your wish come true. We're making five bright and fun designs, so take out your nail polish and let's get started. Nail art with or without tools, first step is always the same, apply a base coat. This will create a barrier between your nails and nail polish, giving them protection against staining and nasty chemicals. And finally we are ready to apply some color. First we are making a lovely neon flower design. Start by painting your nail white. Then take your yellow nail polish and wipe off the brush really well. When you have just a small amount of color left on the brush, make a tiny patch on the nail. Take another color, I chose orange and draw petals. The key to this design is to wipe the brush well. If you have a lot of polish left on it, the color would just run everywhere and make a giant blob. If you look at flowers, they are all a bit different and unique. That's why I love using a no-tool technique for flower nails. I made 5 cute flowers using different colors of polish. In the end, apply a generous amount of the fast drying top coat to seal your design. I think they just look so cute and happy. Here on my right hand, I use this design as an accent on my ring finger while painting other nails with different neon colors. Now let's make this adorable rainbow design. Again, start with white for the base. Then make stripes along the nail using different colors of polish. Here I'm making an orange stripe starting right on the edge of my nail. Take a second color, make another stripe, overlapping the first one a bit. With this overlapping technique, you can make thinner stripes just with a nail polish brush. No stripers needed. I know these are not the correct rainbow colors, but I'm just using the colors that I have. Rainbow is made of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, so you can use any of them. You can totally leave your design like this because it already looks super awesome, but I decided to add a little cloud on the tip of the nail. First I'm drawing it in black, but don't worry, this will just be the edge to keep the design that cartoonish look. Now I'm going over it with white like so. And the result is perfect! It looks like we have outlined the cloud with a precise brush when we actually didn't. All we used was a nail polish brush. Finish off with a layer of top coat to bring the design together and add some shine. I like the happy colors and the cartoony feel of this rainbow design. It looks pretty complicated, but it's seriously so easy to make. On my thumb I'm making this cool square pattern design. I went for the white base, but you can go for any color you like. Take the second color and again wipe the brush really well to get rid of most of the nail polish. With what is left on the brush, make a vertical line along one side of the nail like so. If you want the line to be rather narrow, keep your hand light and just barely touch the nail with the brush as you go along. If you press the brush on the nail stronger, bristles tend to spread and you get a wider line. But we don't want that. Time for some horizontal stripes. Make the first one across the middle. Then one above. Since we're having a small amount of polish on the brush, you will probably have to go over each stripe twice to make it opaque. But that's actually awesome, because you can always perfect it the second time you go over it. Clean the skin around the nail if needed, apply a shiny top coat and we're ready to rock this cool design. I love how you can adjust it by switching up the colors. If you use black background with white or silver stripes, it can look very sophisticated and elegant, perfect for a glamorous party. Next we have a cute mouse design. I decided to start with a bright pink for the base. When it dries, make half of the circle on one tip of the nail or a bit more in the corner like me. Make two short stripes for the ears, mine came out a bit long, but okay, you can keep them shorter and a bit more rounded. 
Color the inside of the ears with light pink and make a nose using the same color. For the eyes I decided to use a toothpick. You could try to make two dots with a polish brush, but it's difficult to get perfect dots with a brush. And toothpick is not a nail art tool, so it still counts, right? In the end, make a little mustache and we're finished. This one is perfect for all you animal lovers, it's so adorable and super easy to make. If you change the shape of the ears, you can make a bear or a bunny in the same way. Lastly, we're making a fun neon geometrical design. As you can see, I'm using white as a base color on almost all the nails. This is because neon colors pop so much more on the white background. Even if you just want to paint your nails solid yellow, for example, I recommend to use white as a base, the difference is huge. Take a second color and make a diagonal stripe starting on the other side so you get a cross. Now make another stripe below the second one to cover the tip of the nail. With the fourth color make a diagonal line parallel to the first yellow one in my case. Apply a top coat to finish this happy design. Again you can switch up the colors to fit the occasion, mine are perfect for summer days. Let me know in the comments which design was your favorite, I think mine would be a rainbow or a flower design. I really hope you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up if you'd like me to do more no tool tutorials. Also please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, just click the button right here. Ok, talk to you soon, bye! This was already my third no tool nail art episode. Yet another proof that even if you don't own any fancy tools, you can still rock countless awesome nail art designs.